Hey y'all, welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Girls of Girls. Today we are looking at the debut album from Aborancy, Climax of Disgusting Impurities. Aborancy were formed in 2019 in Sacramento, California, so they're a fairly new band, but at least two of the members have quite a history in the Sacramento metal scene, uh, having come from the bands Killgasm and Defecrator. Oddly enough, uh, Killgasm was the first local band I ever saw perform when I moved to Sacramento uh, back in, gosh, I think it was 2014 or 2015. Uh, they opened a show for Sargeist, and they just totally kicked my ass. Very good way to start off that show. And I've been following the two members uh, that are now in abhorrency ever since. Uh, the two members in question are uh, the bass player Ejaculator and the drummer Sex Slayer. Uh, they've gotten a new guitarist slash vocalist by the name of Upheaver, and I don't know where the fuck they found this guy. I couldn't find that he'd been in any previous bands, but he is a fucking beast on guitar and vocals. Uh, this guy rips out some fucking wicked ass riffs, and his vocals are fucking intense. So props to those guys for finding him and getting him into a band. I'd best describe this as bestial black death metal. Um, if you're familiar with bands like Arch Goat, Blasphemy, Beharit, uh, the Unholy Trinity of that style, you'll know what you're getting with these guys. Also probably uh, some Sadomater and Proclamation influence as well. But these guys put their own spin on it. You know, it's like uh, Sex Slayer and Ejaculator have taken everything they've learned from their previous bands and put it into a Borency. Uh, this might be their best project yet, quite frankly. Um, I feel like it's a little more primitive than what Defecrator was, and I don't mean that as a knock. Uh, it's just a change of pace. You know, they went back to a more primitive style, uh, like a very uh, rough, raw, arch goat type style on this, whereas I felt like the songwriting in Defecrator was a little more sophisticated. Uh, this, to me, is a little more primitive sounding, and it's all the better for it. I think this is fucking great. Uh, saying something's primitive is not a knock, guys. These guys have stepped up their game once again, and the addition of Upheaver just makes it, just takes it to a whole other level. The album was recorded and produced by Patrick Hills, and trust me when I say this goddamn thing sounds filthy as fuck. You will want to take a shower after you listen to this gnarly ass album. It is just ridiculously filthy, yet you can still hear everything that's going on and appreciate the musicianship and songwriting that's happening on this thing. I mean, it's just a perfect balance of filth and, and songwriting prowess and musicianship. It's just everything you want from a metal album in this style. The album is out now via Goat Throne Records, and just to give you an idea of what you're getting, obviously here's the front cover opener up. This is kind of a digipack. A little flimsy, but uh, still pretty good quality. Uh, you've got photos of all the band members and credits. And of course, over here, you've got the CD itself, which has a uh, another version of the front cover art on it. Take the CD off. You've got uh, the back here, which has got a very muscular arm holding an upside down cross because you've got to be muscular as fuck uh, to kick out these arch goat style riffs. You just have to be. It's the rule. I don't make the rules, but them's the rules, guys. <laughs> you got to be a fucking beast to do this style of metal. And so I guess that's what this symbolizes here on the inside uh, cover there. Uh, then on the back cover, of course, you've got all the uh, song titles and the Goat Throne Records logo down below. Um, pretty much everything on this album kicks ass, but if I had to pick favorite songs, I'd probably go with uh, probably... Phew, Gosh, it's tough. I'd probably go with uh, Cathedral Fornication, uh, the title track, Climax of Disgusting Impurities. Uh, Sledgehammer Profanation's amazing. So is uh, War Master Offensive. Everything on here just... <laughs> I know I've said this already, but it fucking kicks ass, you guys. It's so good. Uh, I'm, this is probably one of my favorite albums of uh, 2022 so far. And I'm um, definitely going to wind up on my year-end list. I can tell you that already. Definitely get your hands on this. As I mentioned earlier, it's available via Goat Throne Records. And it is the best bestial black death metal album you're going to hear in 2022. Simple as that. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Definitely check out Abhorrency, Climax of Disgusting Impurities. Until next time, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye. Oh, <laughs> oh,